Dr. Mata. We're students from St. Rose High School in New Jersey. We're in an advanced physics class and we would like to know Where do you as an astrophysicist believe quarks originated from and what scientific findings have you led to this conclusion? Thank you for your time and we hope you answer our question. So students from the Rose School, uh, you want to know where did the quarks come from? Well, let me describe what a quark seems to be. Uh, if you take two protons and you crash them into each other, you can find out that they seem to be made up of smaller particles uh, called quarks uh, that are held together by uh, a, a force that seems to be carried by other particles called gluons. Now these particles uh, can be made in the, in the collisions, although we can never get a, a, a quark separated from other quarks very far. So uh, these things seem to be the building blocks of ordinary matter particles that we see today. So theoretically, if we imagine what conditions might have been like in the early universe, where the temperatures were extremely high and the densities were extraordinary, we could imagine that the early universe was composed of a kind of soup just made out of quarks and gluons and any other particles that might exist, uh, electrons and other uh, particles in that family. So this might be what the early universe is like. Uh, if so, then the, uh, it was the extreme temperatures and densities that made it possible for quarks to exist along with anti-quarks and all of the other amazing families of particles that might be predicted. Then uh, the uh, universe expanded and cooled off and the quarks uh, came to uh, group together into ordinary particles like protons and neutrons and eventually uh, we now have to make an accelerator to pry them apart again.